Hey, what's up? I'm playing a guy. Oh, I gotta turn the sound off here. One second. I'm playing a very high rated guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Just wanna make it so you guys can hear the sound a little bit. Oh my god, I'm wasting all my time here. Uh, what do I do here? C3? I think so. And now, I'll castle. So generally, I just play this kind of peacefully. Oh, this guy's extremely high rated, by the way. Uh, I can't remember what I do here. Do I go h3? I'll play this move. At some point, I go h3. I just can't remember. I'll just go here instead. Whatever. The thing about this opening, I feel like you can kind of just play it by feel. And you don't have to do... There's nothing you have to do, basically. Should I take that bishop? Eh, whatever. Take the two bishops. I'll put the bishop here now instead of... Oh, now after bishop g4, it's hard to break this pin. So let me... Let me deal with that. Um, h3. h3 makes a nice little weakness, but... I, I think it's okay. Um, it makes a weakness on my king side is, is basically the issue. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Maybe this... And if he takes, I'll take with the queen. I mean, okay, I have a bishop versus knight, but it's not really that big a deal. Hmm. I mean, I guess bishop e3. It's not, not the most exciting move, but I don't know what else to do. Knight h... Yeah, that's what I thought he would do. I guess I should play play in the center. Gain a little bit of space. Um, I think my position's fine. I just... It's nothing amazing, though, on the same... At the same time, I suppose rook a to d1. I want to see who I'm playing, if, it's, if he's anonymous or not. Robert, who, I don't know, somebody strong, obviously. <laughs> All right. Do I take with the knight or the bishop? Hmm. I kind of want to take with the... Well, see, if I take with the bishop, he's going to own the... F4 square forever. If I take with the knight and go g3, I'll probably just do that. It's not. He can still go knight f4 perhaps and sack the piece. I'm going to take this guy first of all. Uh, if he takes with the knight, okay, he took with the pawn. So let's say I go rook d7. Or should I play g3 is the big question. If I don't, he goes rook d1 and he just kind of gets, um, well, his g-pawn's a little weak the way it looks now. I'm going to go g3, whatever. I just notice his queen's tied down this g-pawn. Yeah, maybe knight f4 is playable, but I don't know. It's a little, I mean, he only has one piece in that attack, just the queen. So I'm hoping it doesn't work. Just hoping, hoping for the best. Uh, queen f Three is interesting enough. So queen f3, rook d7, knight f4, pawn takes. All right, whatever. Uh, I had a plan here. I forget what it was. Oh, just trade everything, go rook d1. I just felt like uh, his g pawn's a little weak right now, and he has to do some... Okay, that makes sense. That's going to get him at least out of that situation. Now, can I play anything? Is there anything really strong here? I think taking queen d5 looks good. Just because I think his knight is a little... He's moving fast, which is good now. His knight's a little off size. Uh, I, I think d6 looks good. If pawn takes bishop b6, and I have outside pawn situation. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh my god. How big of a deal is it? Well, b4, he blockades. Well, I'm going to do b4, and then a4, and try to... Smash this blockade. Right, I might have made a big mistake. Because this king is just going to waltz right in. Um, We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I can get away with it. Probably not. <laughs> Jeez, man, I suck. I don't suck, really. But it's, it's just unfortunate. I had a pretty good position. Uh, he can take on b4 now. And, I mean, as far as I can tell, I just lose a pawn. 
question is, can we defend this position? It's going to be hard, you know. I should maybe fix his pawns before it's too late. And now I just hope that I can somehow walk in with my king. I just totally didn't see c5. I, I thought I had some edge because bishop can be nice in this such a position. Right, so king of 396, king e4, g6. Uh, it could be annoying. I'll do this. I, I don't know why exactly. <laughs> oh man. Um, if knight e6, I was gonna. I, I didn't see that move, which is unfortunate. All right, let's put my bishop here. Seems mildly annoying. Very mildly though. Um, so I guess I'll start to. Try to. Well, I can't even walk with my king now. Hmm. I mean, I'm technically just lost at this point. If h4, well, I'm gonna do it. Knight e2. I'll move the king. I mean, this is a little helpful for me because now he has a weakness. The question is, do I go h5 or or pawn takes pawn? Because if I go h5, he has to watch his. Is to constantly watch his pawn on g7. I don't know. I mean, I, I think he shouldn't have played knight f4. All right. Um, bishop d8. Is he gonna go? He's gonna move his king back. I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna do it. Now g5, f5. Well, I don't know what else to do. He's gonna go f5 anyway. I guess. Mm, okay, I'll start with this move. Um, oh, my bishop's like trapped. Oh god. It's legit trapped. Uh, I guess g5. Don't know how that helped me at all. <laughs> um, if bishop, okay, let's say I go bishop b6, he takes, I take, he goes king e5. I'm just losing. I guess I have to do that. I should have done the last move. I don't know how this helps me. I'm losing, right? That's funny. Usually, usually it's the... He can, by the way, just take my bishop. But usually it's the bishop that traps the knight in such positions. And this time, it's the other way around. I would have resigned. Man, that guy's super high rated. What? That's not even possible. How can his rating be so high? I don't understand. I don't understand that it's possible. I mean, he's a good player, but I mean, honestly, if I played him, I feel like it's just like 50 50. Just investigating this. I mean, I played him a three minute bunch, and I've, I think I, I think I won against him. When we played, I don't know. Uh, anyway, this other guy's twenty six seventy, which is I don't know why it's not on the list. Maybe he hasn't played enough games. What was his handle again? Arm composer. Uh, he needs to play six more games to be um, official. Uh, let's look at the game real quick. I mean, I was doing fine. I, I think. This was a, a key error, this, this d6 move. I, I just didn't see c5. Because, you know, can I go en passant, right? Uh, unfortunately, I can't. So what should my plan be instead? I mean, let's say b4, for example. And let's say, I mean, maybe he'll go knight d7, but let's say he does this. Like, for instance, now d6. And I have an outside pass pawn. On the other hand, he has an active king, which you cannot underestimate the active king. So maybe all this is, oh, whoops, maybe I should not be doing any of this crap and just be like activating my king. It's king f1, king e2. I gotta be a little careful with the move b5. 
so maybe my move order wasn't perfect, but, uh, you know, say we get some position like this. Hey, I got an active king, I have a bishop. The bishop's nice in these positions because I can, I can make little checks, you know, whereas his can't kick my king out so easily. Obviously, that was a very simplistic uh, look at it. I, I like this line because I thought, I don't know, I thought that his knight would have some issues. Maybe I had something better. Maybe like queen b5 or something would be stronger. I mean, it's a little, I don't know, it's a little much trading all the pieces. Whatever. This, this move is a huge mistake, though. Now he's just going to round up his pawn, unless there's something I'm missing. I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, thanks all for watching. Sorry I was defeated. I'll get him next time. See you later. Bye-bye.